All right, insiders, the date is Tuesday, 27th of October. The host is me, Connor. The channel is Creator Insider. And unlike other weeks, what we're going to do today is start with some questions from you. What I've been bowled over by over the past couple of months is the extent to which people engage through comments. Of course, we know that comments are a huge part of the YouTube ecosystem, but it's not simply about feedback. What we've been seeing is a ton of questions coming through that are very specific to different parts of the YouTube ecosystem. So what we're going to try and do today is just take a couple of those and provide direct answers from the teams themselves um, delivered through me, your host. Um, we hope you enjoy a couple of these. So let's get into it. All right, our first question, let's read it out. Eric Rosen writes, what is the best resolution for a vertical short video? Also, if someone views a short on desktop, does it still play vertically? So Eric, really good question. Um, there's no resolution that we can recommend at the moment. Resolution is a function of a number of different factors. For example, internet quality and phone type. When it comes to somebody viewing a vertical short video on desktop, it's going to be the same experience as you have now. And what that means is you're going to see those black bars at either side of the video as the viewer is watching it. Gamanuk asks, is there any way to upload a short without it appearing in your YouTube channel? Unfortunately, not at the moment. Um, there are a couple of experiments in the works, so keep on watching the channel and we'll let you know if that becomes possible. Carson J uh, writes, how much does SEO matter with shorts? Should we still try to include tags in the title and description? Well, Carson, um, you don't have to include tags, but if you do include hashtag shorts in your video's title, it'll mean that it has more of a chance to appear where shorts appear on the platform. When it comes to using that shorts hashtag, um, it'll actually appear both in the title um, and on the shorts shelf. So in the title as a viewer is watching it and in the shorts shelf as a viewer is browsing which one of your fabulous shorts uh, to view. Tube Relevant writes, damn, that is a good channel name. Tube Relevant writes, I don't want the shorts to appear on my channel's video page. So if I make the shorts video unlisted, would it be discoverable? And the simple answer there is if you make a video unlisted, it's not going to be discoverable at all, unless you send that link to someone else. Next up, we have some really exciting news about how you can best customize your channel. So as we've talked about before, you can customize your channel in YouTube Studio under a section called customization. What's new, I hear you ask. Well, folks, what you're gonna be able to do is add a section for your short videos and place that wherever you want on your channel. Couple of things to note. To actually find this, you're gonna go into add section under featured sections and you're gonna see short videos. And what you're gonna do there is be able to move it around just like you are in any other part of your channel that you want to feature. One thing to note though is it's only going to appear for users who are looking at your channel via the mobile app. As ever, give us as much feedback as you possibly can in the comments. We'll feed that back to the product team um, and we'll see if we can't make it even better on the basis of your feedback. All right, now we're back to the suggestions that you, the Creator Insider viewers and subscribers, had made to us to make this channel better and more relevant to you, the viewers. So we're taking on one of those suggestions this week um, and we're gonna continue it for the next couple of weeks and see how it goes. This is from Molly's Artistry and what Molly had suggested was that we would allow Creator Insider viewers and subscribers to submit videos to us with questions. And what we'll try and do, myself and Lauren, the fantastic program manager that manages this channel, you've seen her in many of the videos already, is we will take it on to find the right team within YouTube to answer that question. We'll either get the question written down from them or they'll come on the channel. And now you'll see me reaching for my glasses because I've forgotten what the email address is, which you will see in the description below. And that is ci-video-submissions at google.com. 
Uh, Lauren's also included a note to please limit your questions to one per video and under 30 seconds. Um, you can also see that we've updated our Thursday videos with a bright new thumbnail. Um, so we're experimenting again with those suggestions with a view to growing this channel by 10,000 subscribers before the end of the year. Now, two things, trivia. What was the question last week? YouTube pranked the users of its homepage a couple of years ago and redirected all of the videos that were featured on the homepage to which music video? And that was Rick Astley's infamous video, uh, which spurred the term being Rick Rolled. And the winner, bum, bada, bum, 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 Nick Pixel TV. So thanks so much, Nick. Uh, Pixel TV for answering that. And the next question that we're going to ask is what should the new tagline of the Creator Insider channel be? We want to see those suggestions in the comments. We're going to pick one. It's going to become part of the channel's uh, marketing and its branding. And the reason why I'm asking this question as opposed to a trivia question is we got feedback around the fact that people didn't actually know that this was run by YouTube employees and it was run specifically for you, the viewer, the user of the platform, so that you could benefit from all of these informal updates. So that's why we really want you to help us. Let us know what you think in the comments below and I will see you next week.